the Groove Stage. Top 32. All grueling games with ups and downs. But now we have our top 16 match ahead of us. And this is obviously another extremely tough match. So far, despite using Bayonet, we've somehow succeeded in overcoming most opponents and Bayonet has even put in its own fair share of work, providing both support and even kills for the team. But can that continue? Can we once again rely on mods like Great Tusk or Scizor? Or will Ogapon Wellspring show why it was our number one pick? Or maybe, just maybe, a hidden threat will showcase itself in this battle. Only one way to find out. Let's hope for a good game. All right, so we're here for a BBR Summer Scramble. Top 16 match going up against Myra B, coach of the Mist Valley Hands. And he brought pretty much the exact six I thought he was going to bring. Now, I'm going to take the assumption that he's going to leave with the Glamora because a lot of people like put, to put their lead Pokemon in the first slot and Glamora is a very typical lead mod. I have planned to lead Bayonet from the beginning. I was debating hard between being Taunt or Will-O-Wisp on Bayonet. We ended up being Will-O-Wisp because I think it has slightly more utility throughout the entire game rather than Taunt could have. Um, because Taunt would be really nice for Florges, but because Florges didn't come, it wouldn't matter. Uh, and, and Taunt would be nice for Pillow Swine, but honestly, honestly, a burn on Pillow Swine is just as nice. Also, as usual, um, kind of like the last uh, UMPL game I, I had, if I sound a little, a little weird, a little off, it's because I've been under the weather this week. So I might still be a little, um, you know, a little runny nose and whatnot. But yeah, good luck at fun tomorrow, B. Um, this is going to be my first time battling him. I've, I've known of him for a little bit, so I'm I'm pretty excited about this match. Sent out Giyu, and he leaves Ogapon. Okay, can I live a hit? <laughs> if I can live a hit, I'm staying in, like, 100%. Oh, um, uh, 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 I don't think I can. I do have some defense. Yeah, no, I'm never living. If he terrors, I'm never living. <laughs> if he terrors, I'm never living. Okay. Uh, we did exchange teams beforehand. Now, I could just very easily go to my Electrode immediately. Because, like, that is kind of what... This is what Electrode is here for. And if he U-turns, I get to get a little bit of Rocky Helmet Chip. I get some, some Static Chip. Oh, not static chip. I get the chance for static. Now he could be like a subset, which is annoying, but I do have Thunderbolts. I don't have to click like Volt Switch or anything. Bayonet can still pro prove some usefulness. Though it is slower than most of the opponent's team. Also, he didn't he didn't lead with the obvious uh, Glamour, so it is what it is. I will just go to Electro. This is what Electro is here for, pretty much. <coughs> Does he click, uh, does he click U-turn? Does he click, does, does he terror immediately? That's my main thing. Does he terror immediately? Cause that, that's... Okay, that, say that's U-turn. So we can chip it. Jesus Christ. Okay, that doesn't do that much. We didn't get the static, which is unfortunate. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, U-turn does do that much. I don't know why I was expecting it to do any less. I mean, don't get me wrong. This electrode, I knew it wasn't built to take a million hits. But still. Uh, also, man, I could have stayed in. Bayonet would have, would have tanked that U-turn. I, I guess I should have I should have predicted that. <laughs> Which is, Ivy Culture was pretty free, because Ivy Culture doesn't make contacts. Even if I go into Electrode, you don't risk anything. Uh, I'm interested in what you go into here, because you're either going to tell me your choice got on something, or you're going to go into something that defensively can take a hit, yeah. Now, if he's Ice Shot... Uh, actually, I think I do live a hit here. If he's, Yeah, no, if he's Ice Shot, I live a hit. Oh, wait, I'm looking at Bayonet. <laughs> I do not live a hit. Actually, I have a chance of living a hit. I'm sitting at 45% and Aisha does... Uh, actually, this is if it's max attack. Yeah, no, if he's not attack investment, I do guarantee live an eye shot. So I kind of want to taunt so he doesn't get rocks up. Then again, rocks is not like the worst. Like I have boots on... Because like he doesn't have that much knockoff. It's on Ogopon and it's on this. And Arcanine doesn't want to go into either of those. And Tusk doesn't really want to switch into them either. Now, I don't switch the best into into this mod, so maybe I'm also debating if I should just straight up click a Leaf Storm, get my damage, and just say, that's that's my Electrode. <sighs> Honestly, that's what I'm going to do. I I, deal, I don't deal with this thing that well. I'm going to take my damage, I think. So, okay, that's very that's Spidef. So that's Spidef. That's interesting, he's Spidef. I don't know what he's Spidef for, then. Okay, I guess I should have taunted. I would have gotten more out of that, but, you know, it is what it is. I would have gotten more out of the taunt. Um... Just like, I could have taunted into Leaf Storm, potentially. Uh... What do I do here? 
Rocks are a little bit annoying, but it's fine. We, we do have Spin on Tusk. We have Rock Tomb to punish, like, Spin Blocking and whatnot, so I don't mind that. And when I when I say punish, it's like, it, it makes sure that if he's Abaloon, we pop the Abaloon. It makes sure if Talonflame comes in on a neutral, we can hit that. <sighs> uh, I kind of don't want to just hit him again, if I'm being honest. But also, I could also just go Bayonet. Could just go bait actually if i hit him again i guess i can go bait it and and kind of get a kill with that then again did the static chance is really nice actually i will go bait it because i think preserving <coughs> preserving this by potential chance of static is really nice like in case he wants to u-turn with the other one again Dark sticks, sticks into Buttercup. He's wow, he's Eevee Light. Who would have know? Who would have thought? He does Aisha. We would have loved that. That's funny. That is so funny. We would have loved that. Um, uh, I can Willow here, which would punish this. He could go Talonflame, which is a little annoying. But if he goes Talonflame, I get a little bit of a scout on one kind of set he is, I guess. I kind of. But also, again, as I as I already mentioned, I don't deal the greatest with this thing. So getting damage off might just be worth it. Um, I do. I mean, it's 178 here. 170. I'm sitting 66. Yeah. So earthquake will take me out. So do I poltergeist? Do I poltergeist to get damage so this thing is basically within kill range of most of my team? Or do I willow? If I willow, this becomes an amazing setup target for Arcanine. I know that sounds wild when it's a Grommon. I will willow. I will willow. If he goes Talonflame, that's... Yeah, so... This is probably Talonflame. That's kind of annoying. Give... Uh, let it be a Shifu. A Shifu? I'll take this. I'll take the Glamour. It's... It's like... Uh... Chip. It's chip. Now, we did pack, Psy pack Psychic on our Bayonet for this specific thing. Now, if it's offensive, um... Power Gem, and it just Power Gems me here, I do die. But, I mean, it is what it is. Again, Bayonet is not the most important mon in the world so i will just psychic here and also i get a somewhat i, I want to say a somewhat free ivy cultural with our ogre pawn after this if he does kill me because unless you lock but if he clicks sludge wave he doesn't kill me so because unless he's jewish guy and locks something but but if he locks power gem that's fine we, we can live that <laughs> Getting a burn here that like it takes care of like sash and whatnot. It's meteor beam, so this is like power meteor. So this, I, I'm assuming this is power meteor beam. I mean, we are 100% dead then. Yeah, it is. That, I'm interested. It's interesting that he's using this up on Bayonet of all mods. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, I'll take that. So now he's plus one, but he has no speed boost. Um, I am 99% sure I did not see a. I'm 99% sure I did not see a what's it called an Abelnoon when it came in, so I can't go Tusk here. I did speed creep my Tusk to be able to outpace this. Uh, okay, let me think here. So if I go Tusk, click Headlong Rush, and he goes Talonflame with that read. Which, I mean, it's not much of a read, but it's like, I feel like I have, now that he's plus one, I have to kind of do it in a little bit. Then what? Yeah, because like energy ball will share Tusk a new one. I could go Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond falls, like the only Ogre Pond switch he has is his own Ogre Pond. Does that make sense? So, does that tell me he might be Partial Berry? Actually, even if he's Partial Berry, I think we're actually with that Terra. It's close. I will go Ogre Pond. I think I will go Ogre Pond. Like, Tusk do did make sense there, but I think him going into his Ogre Pawn is more risky than him going into Talonflame on Tusk. Now... Oh, you're kidding me. Alright, so we have now, after I don't know how long to recreate this game, finally gotten to the point where we need to be without anything really going wrong. Um, <clears throat> now, we know this was uh, Power of Meteor Beam, so this 100% will die to an Ivy Cotchel. Uh, like he because you can't be Pasha Bay. I also do not have to Terra at all. Ah, click U turn. Okay, that was a mistake. Whoops. <laughs> ah, that's that's what hap that's what happens when your brain like kind of just turns off. Oh well. Yeah, uh, that's gonna screw me over. I kind of had a feeling. 
All right, then. I had a feeling that was going to screw me over a little bit. Shit. <laughs> uh... How much does Tusk take from a plus one slut wave? Uh, the answer is a lot. The answer is a lot. Oh, that's really an Oh, that misclick is so annoying. <laughs> oh my god, all that. Oh, that data misclick. You're, like, you're kidding me, right? Oh, that's really annoying. All that data misclick. Um, I'm gonna get make the assumption he goes for sludge wave here. If he goes for energy ball. He goes. For, I'm I'm over this at this point. I fuck it. I don't I don't care. I don't care. I'm over. Power gym. You know what? That's even better. Even better. I think. Yeah. Eat that. Yum, 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 yum. And I am max physical defensive. Um. Now I don't want to make an over prediction. I will just headlong rush. I say as I'm gonna take a look. Uh, there's no way Rock 2. Yeah, Rock 2 never kills. I I will just head wrong rush. If he goes talent, if he goes talent, I mean, it's, yeah. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I misclicked. I could have gotten rid of the Glamour immediately. I should have just went for the Rock 2 immediately. <laughs> ah. Ah. I'm not well. <laughs> ah, that's so annoying. Okay, do you willow on what is an obvious Arcanine? I really want to say you don't, so I want to stay in a rock tomb, but I'm also- if my tusk gets burnt, then the game is practically over. I'm so annoyed, I'm so annoyed I didn't get the fucking, um... Oh, I'm so annoyed at that misclick. I would've gotten rid of Glamour immediately. I think because it's early game, I will go Arcanine. He hot, he hot withdraws. Okay, so that suggests to me he doesn't have U-turn. Yeah, I mean Glamora is a good is a good play here. I don't have a good switch to it because I didn't fucking kill it. Oh, I'm so I'm so fucking pissed. Oh, I'm so pissed. I could have just killed this thing immediately. I could have just killed this thing immediately. Like it would have been, it would have been dead. Like it would have already been dead. Cause, it, cause he didn't, he didn't switch. Is the thing he didn't switch. And oh, now when we recreate, I have to click the U-turn. Oh, I'm, I don't want to be here anymore. One eternity later. All right. Um, man, I'm gonna fucking gather my thoughts again. I mean, I I don't even know how I'm gonna come back to this now. Like, first of all, I I just I just I I don't care now. Yeah, I'm just gonna be honest. I don't care anymore. I just want to kill me. Uh, I mean, not only the disease, but it's just I think the misclick on the fucking Glamora is irritating me almost more because I wouldn't be in this position if it wasn't for that misclick. Uh. Have what have you revealed meteor beam and power gem you gotta have energy ball like there's no shot you don't right you gotta have energy ball uh i could stack electrode i guess <sighs> i mean this uh, i say that this game is already impossible to get back from i think yeah i, I don't think i can win this game uh i don't really <sighs> Cause you could just be four attacks, so you could also hit Sylvian. I mean, medium, I'm also physical, so medium beam hits that as well. Don't want to risk Tusk on like an energy ball. Uh, because there's rocks and T-spikes, I will just sag Electro, I think. I mean, I do have spin, but it's polish. Okay. Okay, I mean, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why wouldn't you be? Why wouldn't you be? I'm actually why why didn't you do that on Bane? What, what was what on Bane that was threatening you? <laughs> I guess is my question. Um He could go he could go for like a media a raw media beam, honestly. Like it's not out of the front of possibility. 
which would suck. I think I will just okay, just go for the podium. Which which then that's too much. I'm gonna make the assumption that his last move is 100 percent in it. It's gotta be energy ball. Uh, man, I have a really hard time giving a fuck right now. How much does raw energy ball do? The tusk, do I live? I absolutely do not. So I kind of have to go Ogopon, but that means Ogopon gets. Yeah, that would mean Ogopon gets uh, poison, which I don't really like. If I'm being... Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, the U-turn misses. Uh, the U-turn misclick is coming back to bite me so much. Uh, it has to. It has to be energy ball. There's no way you run this set without energy ball. I actually don't fully understand why you meet. I mean, I, yeah, you can get away with not being sludge wave. You can get away with not being sludge wave against my team. If I had psychic and Sylvia, I would do that. I think. Um, if he does have Sludge Wave, it is what it is, but I think I just have to go Ogopon and just let take the poison, it is what it is. Um, I think Terroring now is probably the correct play, if I'm being honest. Like, I, li I live any hit, even if he Sludge Wave, so, I mean, I guess he could Raw Energy, but... I mean, I guess if I'm raw calling him being energy ball, he could energy ball right here, and that would suck and hurt a lot. I won't lie. Also, Ogopon is already so uh, damaged that I honest to god think I'm just gonna Terra take the hit and then I get control. I think that's just my best. Basically, the, basically what I'm trying to get at here, the only way I even have remote of a chance of winning this game is probably gonna be by Arcanine or Tusk, one of those two. And if I'm getting a spin with Tusk and he's just not Joy Scarf and do Sheep or anything, which I mean, with this, I mean, a Sheep could very well, very well be Joy Scarf in this matchup. Okay, so Terrain was the correct choice because he went for Power Gem. Okay. I mean, I have boots on two of my other last months. I don't like the T spiked while annoying are not the worst. This is a wild play. He's he's going for what could be a speed try now. Don't tell him that I'm not max speed, okay? Don't tell him that. Um, if he trailblazes, how much does that do? Do I die? Sitting at thirty six, there's a chance. Oh, actually, wait, I haven't turned. No, trailblaze will take me out. That's kind of annoying. I think it's kind of wild he's taking. It's kind of wild he's taking this because, like, if I'm max speed as well, on this, yeah, if I'm max speed as well, I can kill him with power right here. He's taking what is could essentially be a 50-50 risk. That tells me this is Shifu's definitely not choice scarf then. Yeah, that 100 percent tells me that Shifu's not choice scarf. Okay, and that's kind of interesting to know. Now I'm not max speed, so it's like, do I give up my do I give up my ogre pawn to get? <sighs> Problem is, if I do that, what am I doing? Like, what am I getting in? Sylvian takes a hit. Yeah, I mean, I kind of have to. So he is trail base. Oh, yeah. I mean, it kind of. Sylvian is also the only one that doesn't have fucking. I mean, I this. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm so. I'm over this game already. I. I. I honestly. I honestly don't care. I honestly don't care anymore. Like I got taken out of this game like 45 minutes ago. I don't care anymore. Like it's. It's whatever. Um. Okay. If you Terra, how was this? Yeah. How was it doing? You won. I mean, you won. The. The. You won. You won because of a misclick. You won. I mean, Mario hasn't done anything. It's my own fault. But I'm just like. I'm so. 
This is not what I wanted this game to be at all. Not at all. I guess I should keep up with this. I mean, yeah, I don't know why this took that long. Like, you, you, okay. I, 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 I guess I'll take that. I guess, I, you know what? Um. Oh, wait. <laughs> because of the goddamn, God damn it! that's so annoying. Because of the poison, I can't baton pass into like Arcanine. Because like, this would actually not be that bad of an Arcanine turn right now. Because like, I have, I have chip on this. Yeah, I, fuck. But I'm just, I'm afraid he's gonna be set up on this. I think my only out, even remotely in this game, is to go Tusk here. Then if he's set up, I punish the setup. And if he kills me, I go Arcanine, and I, I hope for the best. Uh, I think that because like I can't allow him to set up too much. I mean, but then again, if he's set, uh, I do go toss because like if, even if he's sub, I can at least break like a sub. And now, now I get to learn if he's like choice scarf or not, right? Um, I will rock to him on what could be a talent flame here. So he's choice scarf. That's good to know because now Arcanine comes in. I should take most shadow balls here pretty pretty handsomely. We're just gonna <clears throat> gonna just gotta go board. I'm gonna be honest. Key flame, that's perfect. That's like the mana would prefer. <coughs> um, I don't know what you would do to me, Talon Flame. Like you could have taunt, and taunt would be annoying. Hurricane, that's fine. I'm sp I'm spit F. I mean, I need to get to like plus six here to even have a remote chance of winning, I think. It's like E speed, yeah, no, because I don't have any, yeah, because I don't have any hazards up, E speed can actually never kill your Shifu is the issue. I mean, I didn't have hazards on the team. I was kind of, I was kind of hoping to have a game where Shifu will come in, I could get Rocky Helmet chip on it, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, he misses again, I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll go for it. Like, I'll go for it. You know, may, maybe we quit. Who knows? Are we at a point where... Yeah, I think we're already at a point where we killed the Ogre Pawn. That's nothing. Yeah, I figured. Shit, man. If I'd been a little man... I should have... I guess I should have taken that into account. I should have been more offensive with this Arcanine. Because if, if I'm more offensive, then... Um, then I can potentially take out your Shifa. I'm Morning Sun in this turn. Whew, and he misses. Go for the last. And he misses. Jesus Christ, he's missed like four out of six. That's kind of wild. Uh, okay, so that's max now. I'm plus six, plus six. I mean, if he's not banded or Shifu, I have a chance here. Yeah, if he's not, even if he's adamant banned, and I, if he's jolly banded, I have a chance. No shot of boss. Okay, actually, this doesn't kill, so I definitely, I just still have to play a little around here. Ah, oh, and he gets the confusion. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, I'm gonna stall some turns here. Okay, so he does miss here. That's good for me. Morning sun. E speed. Oh, I get, I get through. Okay, perfect. Oh, that cr that crit would have been nice before. I won't lie. Pillow swine. Okay. Evia light. I hit you with an electro leaf storm. So I think I know for a fact that you spit death. Yeah, yeah, you definitely, you definitely spit death. Arc at plus six. Does fifty two to sixty one. Now, I am definitely slower than this thing, which is the unfortunate part. Uh, how many E-speeds? I have six E-speeds left. If I break through... And yeah, that's enough. He could have Roar, and that's what he's going for. But I think that's what he's going for. But then again, if he's Roar and I Flat Blitz, I just kill him. 
then I just gotta hope your sheath is not banded. Yeah. Oh, it's Endeavor! <sighs> I mean, that puts me... Yeah, I think that puts me within a sheath range. So I guess I should have gone for the... Oh. Trick? It's this got to be trick, right? Got to be trick scarf. That's the only thing you're doing here, right? Uh, I want to call the trick scarf so bad and go Sylveon, but I'm also like Uh, but I don't understand why wouldn't you do this that turn before or I guess it's my main issue. <laughs> uh, this could have power gem, I guess. Power gem, power gem would take me out if he had, and he could very well have power gem, honestly. I mean, all morning sun, like shadow balls. Oh my god! I guess the spit after. Okay, that's kind of that's really bad actually. Getting the spit after really sucks. I won't lie. Yeah. Oh, that spit death drop sucks! Fuck! Yeah, I think the spit death drop seals it. I, I can't win now. I mean... <sighs> no, no, I don't think... I don't think Sylveon can, can win it. I mean, all flat blitz. Yeah. Yeah, Sylveon doesn't... Because I don't even get chip under Shifu. So that spit death drop sucks so much. I... Arcanine Ohm... Yeah. Arcanine almost fucking brought this shit back. Oh, you're kidding me. <sighs> uh, I mean, I don't even know what I'm calling it. I'm just gonna click here. <laughs> I mean, I get to take I get to take the Shifu with me, I guess. I cannot uh, I cannot believe that. Because he was life over in the Shifu. Um, but I guess our BBR Summer Scramble fucking ends there with probably, I'm gonna be honest, probably the most miserable game I've ever had. Not because of Mario in any sense, just the multiple DCs, the fucking misclick with the U-turn, and then that spread after up there at the end really just kind of sealed the deal for me. But yeah, as always, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like on the video, leave a comment, throw the battle, and subscribe to the channel for any future videos. And I'll head out. Peace, YouTube.